Here at the Freeway Tavern in Butte, Robbie Knievel called it his second home. Well, the Butte Daredevil and son of Evil Knievel has gone home. He passed away at 60. Now that's not a long life, but those who knew him said he lived many lifetimes in those years. He, he died at 60, which is way too young, you know, but he lived 100 Knievel years. You know, it, Robbie was always on the move and, and uh, he had a great spirit, but you know, he's at peace now and so we can thank God for that. Knievel died from pancreatic cancer at home in Nevada, January 13th. His brother Kelly said Robbie was a dedicated performer. He just happened to be in the business of uh, risking his life and, and had to come up with new ways to keep people interested and, and excited. And, uh, you know, that involves risking his life. There, it takes a certain kind of guy to do that. Bill Rundle spent decades assisting Robbie Knievel with his record-breaking jumps. You know, there's no question in my mind that Robbie was the greatest motorcycle jumper ever in his time. You know, he was a much better rider than his father. And uh, Robbie just had a lot of talent. I remember being on so many jumps with Robbie and the little kids would come up and, you know, he'd go right over to him and sign him autographs or give him something. You know, Robbie was just so good to so many people. Butte Chief Executive J.P. Gallagher remembers the first time meeting Robbie Knievel as a kid. I was going to deliver my paper out when I was about 13 years old and I found him wrecked on his motorbike underneath the underpass on Harrison Avenue and he actually was unconscious and, and got taken to the hospital at that time. But that's kind of the life that Robbie lived, right? He lived on the edge all the time. Rundle was able to call Robbie one last time before his death. It was really hard to say goodbye and he knew I was there and uh, just want to tell him I loved him. And uh, it was a great ride. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.